Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we review the English Premier League game between Manchester United and Everton from Old Trafford, Manchester. Amora made six changes for his first home Premier League game in his 3-4-3 setup uh, considering the run of games coming up during December with Onana on goal, Musrai, Delight and Martinez as the back three, Amad and Dalo as the two wingers, Casimiro partnering Mino in the midfield two with Bruno, Rashford and Zerski as the front three. Going into this game, Manchester United at 12th and Everton 15th in the Premier League table. It's surprising to say the least, the standard of Manchester United has declined so much despite spending 1 billion in the last 12 years, coaches coming in and going. Manchester United under Amorim are going through a complete transformation, adapting to his ideas, his style of play, his principles. This is not going to be easy, but this is the challenge that Manchester United need to face, come out of it with confidence and success. Well, Manchester United got a very well-deserved 4-0 win, uh, win at Old Trafford, a very convincing second half and a sloppy first 30 minutes. Rashford seems to have got his goal-scoring nick, got two goals, with Zerksky getting the other two. Ahmad, as usual, was excellent relishing his wing-back role, made three goals. Manchester United at ninth with 19 after this game, just five points from the Champions League place in the table. Let's look at the key talking points from the game. Well, defensive setup. Must Riot, Delight and Martinez looked shaky in the first half. They played a lot of balls between them in the defense, while unable to find the space in the midfield as Everton played very compact. Everton attacked in numbers, made it difficult for Manchester United back three. The Manchester United back three looked unsettled, something that could be built over time. More importantly, they did not concede any goals with Everton asking a lot of questions on their setup. The gameplay? Well, Manchester United could not boss over Everton as expected at home during the first half. Everton found gaps at will. They looked dangerous, won all the first and second balls and frustrated Manchester United. Manchester United looked confused. They were passed around often, got caught out in possession. Everton looked very comfortable, very hungry, good energy, very sharp. They had a game plan to stop Manchester United and they were quite successful. They sat very nicely in their shape. Well, Manchester United do not have any consistency in their pressing. A lot of gaps for Everton to exploit between the forward line and the midfield setup there. They seem to be out of setup with Everton uh, on top. Outplayed Manchester United in all departments in the first half, except being clinical in front of the goal with two important goals. Second half, Manchester United were very convincing. Display, well, got two more important goals, punished Everton. First time since Manchester United got four goals in a game since August 2021. Amorim's helm is very well on track with a win and goals. Going forward, Manchester United unable to control the midfield as they would have liked at home. First 30 minutes, Everton were on top definitely. Quiet, Decore, Ndaye, McNair and Lindstrom played very well. They made it very difficult for Manchester United. Casimiro and Mino came second best. Slow pace and movement that Everton exploited with a lot more legs in the midfield. Well, a lot of work for Amorim and Manchester United to do to get him sync with his ideas and setup. But it's it's good news. Most importantly, Man United got the goals, they got the win, they're making progress. Next, Manchester United face Arsenal in London. A crunch game for Amorim, a stage for Manchester United to display and get back on track, have the players show up. Have the confidence and perform. Ask questions on auditors, Arsenal. Well, that's it from my side. Please provide your comments, like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such reviews. Until next time, take care.